Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. I'm going to show you how to zoom in your footage. For those of you that are new to YouTube and new to video editing or just want to up your production value, adding in well-timed zooms is a great way to show interest, a great way to show that you're thinking, a great way to add focus to a particular element. It's just an awesome way to increase your production value and it's free. We're using HitFilm Express. This is a free video editor. So everything you learn here at Freedom with me doesn't cost a thing. All right, what do we got here? Let's just show you what I've got here. I've got this pretty girl running away, which is pretty much, well, every single date I've ever been on. This is how it ends, guys, every time. <laughs> running away. There I go. I zoomed in on her. Do you see that? And now watch. I zoom out back gradually. Now, traditionally, you would have to do that inside your camera and using lenses and all that stuff, but you can do it now inside video. Inside video editors like HitFilm Express and it doesn't cost you a thing. Let's just delete all that stuff and let's start again from scratch. So there we go, we've got this pretty girl and she's running away. I'm gonna drag and drop the footage into the timeline. That is step one and now let's see what we got. It starts black and then it fades in and then here we go, there she is, she's running. Yep, kinda like a true crime show, but uh, yeah, except she went on a date with me and. Well, whatever. I'm not a fast runner. <laughs> I would catch her, though, if she was an ice cream truck. Let me tell you. Oh, I run after that. All right, whatever. Let's go. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's do the zooming first. So let's do a basic zoom. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead, and you'll see here that I'm at like 10 seconds or something like that, right? You'll see here it's like 10 seconds and 4 frames. So I'm just going to back this train up to 10, 0, 0. So at this 10th second, let's say we want to add in a zoom. There's a few ways to do it, but I'm going to show you a quick... Shortcut, left click on this slice tool here, pressing C if you don't want to do that, and just add a cut. So we've now cut this into two pieces. So this one here, which is what we've selected, this one is going to be regular, and this video, we want it to be zoomed in. So all you got to do now is make sure you're selected on the second video, like I have here, or the selected second cut. We're going to go over to controls. You'll see controls here. Drop it down, and then you'll see the scale button. Basically, all you want to do is scale her up. So I'm going to scale it up quite dramatically to really sell the effect. So let's get right into about 225, something like that, okay? How does that look? That's pretty scaled up. Okay, cool. Now watch. We've, we've got her running, and then right where that connecting is, right where the cut is, boom. Scaled all the way in. Perfect. That is basically a jump zoom, and that adds a tremendous amount of production value to your video, you'll see guys like Mr. Beast and all those guys do this all the time, especially when they're trying to, you know, when they're doing some sort of thinking motion or they're doing some sort of thinking, you know, type thing and they want to show that they're thinking. There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and now let's go ahead and show you the second version. So let's say at the 20th second, so at second 20 right here, so at 20 seconds we want to gradually zoom this in. So what am I going to do? I'm actually going to use the same cheat. I'm going to grab the slice tool. And I'm going to cut it. Now, this is a little different because we got to make some changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my selection tool. I'm going to make sure that I'm selected on this video here. And before I start adjusting scale, I'm going to go ahead and hit this button here. This means basically that we are creating a keyframe. And you'll see it. Well, I'll show you how to keyframe in another video. But basically, we're just creating a starting frame. And now we're, we've got all the way zoomed in, so I'm, we've created a keyframe and we hit this button. Now let's say at the 25 seconds or so, let's go to 25 seconds. I'm just going to edge forward. We want her to be completely zoomed out, back to 100%. So I'm just going to drag it back to 100%. And because we keyframed the initial value, which was at 225% actually, let's get this to 100. Come on, Curtis. Ah, well, if, we can, if in doubt, just type it in. Bingo! There we go. Now watch this. So as you'll see here, she's all the way zoomed in. I'm going to hit spacebar, and you'll see the gradually zooming back out until it goes right back to 100%. How do I know it's 100%? Because I click on it, and as I move this, now watch. You'll see here on the left side here, you'll see the scale keeps moving as my keyframe indicator moves. So it starts at 225, and then it just gradually goes down back to regular. These are the two best types of zooms you can do, I think, inside a video. They are free to do using HitFilm Express. It adds tremendous production value 
to your video and it costs you nothing guys you're becoming the best video editor you know just rolling with me and freedom thanks for watching ton more stuff coming up stay tuned be back soon